Oh, everyone. How is everyone doing? I was supposed to do, do this in my second uh, video podcast, actually, uh, Sunday, which is yesterday. Uh, but somehow, uh, I couldn't do it. Uh, so here I am, uh, in Monday night. Uh, so how's everyone doing? Um, did you guys enjoy the weather today? It was fucking amazing, man. It was like a tornado. Uh, I took some uh, some video when it was in the middle of the fucking felt like for the hurricane. Uh, so hopefully this year for New York City and for the East Coast, uh, especially. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, the cities and towns along the coast. Uh, hopefully, uh, it would not be a, uh, another fucking uh, sandy. Hopefully not. But you never fucking know. Uh, what else is going on? What else uh, do I want to talk about? Uh, I wanted to talk about a few things. Uh, obviously, technology is one of my favorites, and also I would like some feedback from you guys uh, as to uh, uh, you know uh, uh, if you uh, if any of you out there relate to what I'm talking about. So yeah, send me some feedback, and uh, I'll uh, I'll have my email as well. So if you want to send me an email, so. Uh, I want to start with uh, with uh, something to say on the technology side, and the technology side is always fucking amazing, and I'm more interested uh, in the technology side of things on this planet than uh, than any other uh, aspect. So I think I mentioned Elon Musk and uh, his company SpaceX uh, in my first video podcast. But I don't think I actually had a chance to explain how Elon Musk actually made a history uh, in 2015, I believe. So, SpaceX is a company, um, obviously, you know, who this man, uh, and he, he, has a, uh, he has a program where he actually builds rockets. Uh, you know, traditionally, the rockets uh, for space travel uh, uh, are, traditionally speaking, uh, built by governments, NASA and the Russian Space Agency. I don't know. I don't know the name. But uh, uh, I guess many people are interested in, in space travel, and uh, I think we are very behind. Very, very, very behind. Uh, you know, the first man was landing on the moon in the 60s, and then from the 60s until today, it's, uh, you know, close to like 60 years. We haven't really made any progress, except for, uh, except for uh, International Space Station. Um, but that's it, that's it. Uh, I guess because uh, the human beings on this planet, you know, they actually uh, indulged in other, uh, other, uh, Menus which were uh, not that uh, uh, productive, productive for anybody. And, uh, and when I say uh, other menus, uh, I don't want to to get into that. You know politics and and uh, you know the whole whatever the fuck is happening around the world. In any case, just to explain how Elon Musk made the history in 2015. You guys know that if and when a rocket is launched from, let's say, Cape Carnival in Florida, um, because that's closer to the equator, um, usually the rocket carries uh, satellites or other uh, loads. They are called payload, P A Y P, load. I mean. Uh, because the rockets are designed for uh, for payload that we carry into the orbit, 
into the orbit, uh, lower or higher orbit, or into the space, uh, into the International Space Station. So, and I must make the history by launching a rocket with payload. I don't know what it was. I think it was, it was uh, they were, uh, I think they were a bunch of uh, uh, Japanese satellites for uh, for uh, research into earthquake, because as you guys know, Japan has a lot of problems with earthquake and uh, tsunamis. Uh, so, so he actually launched his uh, one of his uh, rockets. Called, I think it's called it's called uh, Fal Falcon Nine. And uh, what he did was he, he, fucking amazing. So basically, he launched the uh, the rocket, right? He launched the rocket um, from I think Cape Carnival or whatever where the hell it was. And then the rocket actually took the satellites and basically delivered them into the split, into the orbit. Uh, so what happens is that usually, traditionally, when NASA or these other uh, space agencies, when they carry something, they, when they carry a satellite or what the fuck that they're, you know, they're carrying up to into the uh, Earth's orbit, the rocket. Well, so then, what happened to the last section of the rocket? You know, like, at every section it detaches, you know, every, uh, at, at, at certain height, at certain, at certain distance above the Earth. So what happens to that last piece of the fucking rocket? Uh, traditionally, it becomes a space jump. And those rockets are not cheap, you know, those rockets are not fucking cheap. Uh, you know, governments spend, uh, uh, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars on those. So what he did was, uh, he actually launched the satellite, well, he, I mean, the, the, the rocket was launched with the satellite, which is the payload, and then when the rocket actually delivered the, uh, the, uh, the satellites into the orbit, he brought the rocket back. He brought the rocket back, not only he brought the rocket back, but he landed it perfectly on where he was supposed to land it. Perfect. So that was history making. You know, that was fucking history making. Uh, I mean, you usually see that uh, you know in in, in, uh, in space movies like uh, you know Star Trek and uh, Star Trek and uh, you know Star Wars and all that, uh, where you know the uh, the small ship actually uh, launches from. Uh, Planet and then it goes into the hyperspace, the hyper hyperdrive, and uh, with shields down and whatever the fuck it is. They, they call it, you know, half of that is obviously half with science, I and mean, it's not really science. Uh, but uh, the idea is fictional, and uh, uh, and uh, it can be it can be uh, made real if you have resources. Um, but I think that, that, that what Elon Musk did was the beginning of that. Uh, back when Star Wars, uh, the, the, the first Star Wars movie came in 1977, I, I was four years old by the way. I was fucking four years old, man. I didn't even fucking know uh, anything about Star Wars, obviously. We didn't even have a fucking TV. All we had was the fucking uh, radio. And my dad and my uncle, they used to listen to uh, BBC, you know, the fuck is BBC. So in any case, uh, so that's, that's, that's how he made the history, so that's, I wanted to mention that. What else is going on? Uh, uh, oh, by the way, uh, before I uh, close the chapter on Elon Musk and SpaceX, uh, uh, he actually launched another uh, rocket, at Falcon 9, one of those, uh, which was carrying a Bulgarian satellite, uh, communication satellite, wherever the fuck it is. Today, actually, June 19th. Uh, around uh, 2 10 p.m. because uh, that's the that's the window NASA actually gave them, the government gave them for launching. So it's it's, it's fucking amazing. If you think about like how how the airplanes actually have to be in the queue when they are uh, when they are uh, at the run at the runway, right? At the runway, uh, they have to be in the queue, and, and the and the uh, communication control there then tell them, hey, you are good to go, right? So it's the same thing happening now with the uh, with the rockets launching from uh, these these uh, different uh, 
uh, rocket launching areas such as Cape Carmel. Apparently, you know, that was the time, that was the window that was given to them. That was what was available. So it's uh, it's becoming like that, like the future. And I think this is the beginning of the future press travel. And he also, I think he also has, has uh, do, uh, I was reading on SpaceX's uh, website, news website, that apparently he has uh, been contacted by two private clients uh, because they want to uh, go to the moon, not go to the moon, but they want to, they want to orbit around the moon. And they have already paid him a retainer fees. You know what a retainer, retainer fees is? Uh, if if you uh, you know if you run, if you own your own uh, business, uh, what happens is that whether you're an engineer or an accountant or whatever the fuck, uh, you know they want you to do a job for them. Let's say that you know you had to design uh, you had to design an HVAC system for them or a plumbing system, uh, and uh, what happens is that uh, usually you know you have to sign a contract with them. You you send them your code and what's included in the code, what's not included, uh, exceptions, blah blah blah. And then you all you always ask for a retainer upfront money upfront, so uh, so that the contract is locked and you start working on that. So so Elon Musk already has a couple of clients who have already given him uh, money upfront, so he can build uh, uh, what do you call it? He can build the fucking uh, rockets for uh, for him to carry the, uh, carry the, the, the people. Uh, uh, into the orbital moon. So yeah, this is the beginning of uh, this is the new beginning. This is the new fucking beginning. I think. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the new beginning because uh, all these uh, private companies are, are are very interested in space travel because the government NASA is is still the government. You know, they're still very big ones, uh, and NASA does not have a lot of uh, budget, unfortunately. Uh, budget and also it's the you know it's, it's the government work and it's, uh, uh, government work is always slow it's very slow so that's why these companies like SpaceX and uh, there's another company I believe uh, who are actually taking this initiative to say you know what fuck it you know we had had enough of this uh, we want to uh, you know we want to have our own uh, rockets and eventually I think they're gonna build a spaceship. Uh, and uh, like I said, you know, we are very, very slow in this uh, in this factor or really the space travel. Uh, uh, it's not easy. No, I agree with it. But but at the same time, we are getting slow as fuck, slow as a fucking snail in coming up with a fucking you know technology to basically start uh, start. Uh, uh, you know, landing on the uh, on on our neighboring planet, which is Mars, and then you know, and then slowly making our way out into exoplanets and uh, other uh, potential planets. Exoplanets are these planets which are a potential for uh, potential for having life, organic life. And so uh, the Kepler, uh, the Kepler's uh, uh, telescope actually uh, it discovers these exoplanets on a on a on a routinely basis. Uh, well, so that's on the technology side of things. Uh, 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 how was your week? How was your weekend? Uh, by the way, it was Father's Day yesterday. As you know, uh, Sunday, the fun day, that's what I call it, Sunday, Sunday the fucking fun day. Um, I, yeah, I sent an email to my father, a very brief one, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a father figure is always, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's someone that you look up to. Uh, although I did not really have a great relationship with my father, I think I was... Uh, uh, I mean, he's a great guy. Uh, my father's a great guy, and he is, uh, you know, he is an educationist, and uh, he has supported me in the past a lot, and he still does. But I think uh, he, what he is really not good at, my father, is that he is uh, not good at uh, uh, being like to the point. You know, like uh, listen, 
uh, why, what's going on, you know, what's going on, I need to know what's going on with your life. That kind of attitude, you know, like the, the manly attitude of like, uh, of uh, talking man to man, that's what I mean. But other than he's a good father, you know, and, uh, and uh, my mom and my dad have been together. Although I think later in the game that they, uh, they uh, somehow realized that maybe they were not meant for each other. But then who? I mean, this, 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 is, the, this is the typical in every relationship. Nobody. There's no such thing as a perfect relationship, by the way. No, there isn't. There isn't. You have to, you know, you have to, uh, you have to, uh, you have to not compromise, but what's that word I want to use? You have to, you have to make it work. That's what it is. And if, if it, I mean, look, 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 look how many relationships fail in this country. I mean, people move in with each other and then they move out and then also some shit happens. I made that mistake actually. Back in 2013, I'm moving into uh, my girlfriend's place, which home I had dated for just one month. Did you believe that? That was a fucking mistake, man. That was a fucking big mistake I made. And uh, she was crazy too, you know. Uh, she was crazy too. Uh, you know, she was from Wisconsin. Um, I mean, she had her own issues, and I think I couldn't, uh, I couldn't really, uh, I couldn't really get her out of her uh, mindset, you know. Because I think I was, uh, I was going through my own dark side uh, at that time, you know, uh, uh, bad job situation, whatever it was. But luckily, I, I, you know, I was restarting my company, and so that was good. So financially, I was uh, getting, uh, I was getting uh, better. I was getting better. I mean, I, 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 I could have easily, uh, I could have easily rented a, uh, uh, an apartment at that time. Uh, though I, I had a room, and it was one of the very expensive rooms in a four roommate situation in Williamsburg. And I was paying, I was paying a lot of fucking money for one room, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you. Relationship. That's 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 the that's the uh, that the, I mean you. That's the story of the relationships. Um, that's how it is. What else? What else going on? Anything good? Um, you guys enjoy the weather, obviously today, right? Yeah, fucking Monday. You know, I I, I don't know. I used to say I hate Mondays, but uh, uh, if I have if I have a good weekend, then. You know, then Monday is not that hateful, you know. If I didn't have a good weekend and then, uh, and then I had to go back to, into work, although, you know, I work for myself, so I, so that's not a drag for me to say that, oh, I hate Monday and I hate going to work and so No, it's not like that for me. So luckily, you know, I uh, I have my own business and, and uh and uh, work is picking up, work is picking up. It had been very slow, it had been very slow uh, since fucking election. Uh, but work is picking up very fast now. Work is picking up very fast. Uh, what else? Um, oh yeah, I want to talk about a couple of other things. Um, oh, by the way, there are uh, some great movies coming up. I don't know if you guys are into this action adventure movies. Uh, I think the Star... Is the Star Trek coming out in June, in June July? No, right? No. Uh, Star Trek, I'm not sure. But Star Wars uh, 8 is coming out in December. And I'm really looking forward to that. Because that's called The Last Jedi. I don't know if you guys uh, watched the trailer. It's a fucking amazing movie. I hope uh, it's the first time... First time, I think... Uh, I don't want to have a spoiler alert, but uh, I think uh, Luke is uh, training... Uh, the first female Jedi, I think, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the fucking whole, I mean, if you, even if you watch the trailer, it's not very uh, clear what the storyline is going to be, but it's going to be great, I think. Star Wars uh, Universe is, uh, is fucking amazing. Uh, and uh, I think a bunch of other movies, uh, some of them that I'm not interested in, but you guys may be interested in watching. So this great, it, like last year was really, really great for movies, and but this year is even greater, it's even better, you know, like uh, I think I mentioned that The Mummy came out, uh, Wonder Woman and all that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, enjoy, enjoy the uh, the movies, man, enjoy the fucking movies, you know. 
get some fucking popcorn, you know, eat the butter, smell out the butter and soda and all that. Well, actually, no, no, don't do it. Don't drink soda, don't eat popcorn, man. That shit is gonna fucking curtail your life, you know. Don't do that, don't fucking do that. You know, don't fucking do that. What else? Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about... Uh, I wanted to talk about one thing. Uh, then I'll talk about another thing. Uh, right, I mean, you know, that's, that's obvious, right? Well, I'll talk about one thing, then I'll talk about another thing. So the one thing that I want to talk about was uh, this 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 idea of the liberal people. You know, I consider myself uh, socially liberal, uh, but I don't adhere to or I don't actually adhere to any genre, and I shouldn't. But I'm just saying out there that uh, how liberals and Bernies and these people who are on the far left side or left side, whatever the fuck side is, you know. Uh, you know how they talk about these corporations taking over the world and these corporations are how they are affecting people's lives and all that. And my question to them is how? How does a corporation actually affect your life directly? Tell me, give me an idea. And second thing, second thing that I don't agree with them on is the fact that, you know, they hate corporations and they, they, they hate capitalism and all that. But, but, but my question to them is, okay, so if you hate capitalism, if you hate corporations and all that, why do you have own a, a, a fucking iPhone? A, an iPhone, an Android phone, whatever the fuck it is. Why do you, why do you need to use that? Because that's made by, that's made by a, car, a corporation. A company, a corporation. So that's, that's the irony of these liberal people here. They, 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 you know, they are these people who, uh, for example, they would deny, they would deny, uh, they would deny the very existence of of uh, the truth. So I don't, I don't buy that bullshit. Okay, I don't fucking buy that bullshit. You know, you, you rent, excuse me, you rent against corporations. And uh, and all that. Yeah, there are some corporations which are bad. Yeah, I, I get that. I get that. But then they, they, you know, th those corporations actually, you know, they they uh, they, uh, they, 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 they they you know they learn the uh, they learn to the hard way. And, and uh, sooner or later, you know, they they, they 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 get caught. But other than that, I mean, and, and and the other and and okay, this is what I was listening to the other day, right? Or somebody was saying, I think it was on Stefan Colbert's or one of those fucking. Uh, that Nancy Pelosi, not Nancy Pelosi, but who's that woman from uh, Massachusetts, the uh, senator? Oh, Elizabeth Warren. Apparently, uh, she said that there's a, there's a big issue with Trump and all that. And uh, and then she said something about uh, uh, Amazon buying Whole Foods. You know, Amazon buying Whole Foods. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys know, Amazon is. He's going to buy Whole Foods for 13 point something fucking billion dollars. That's a lot of fucking money. But Whole Foods is, you know, it's, it's great. I actually, I was at Whole Foods yesterday. And I, uh, you know, I do my, my shopping at Whole Foods, you know. And uh, speaking of which, I try not to eat uh, unhealthy. You know, I try to eat meat uh, that's uh, cage-free, uh, non-antibiotic uh, uh, and all that, you know. Uh, and so my question to to Elizabeth Warren is, how is that a bad thing? Oh, she thinks that when the corporations get bigger and bigger, they have a political influence. What? How? Don't you have rules and regulations? How does a corporation actually uh, get by a, 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 a a government rule for 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 uh, for doing something that's not uh, according to the rules and regulations, or they're doing something that's against the rules and regulations. So why, if if this is against if this is against the government rules, so then why why are you allowing this? And, that's, and this is this is what I don't understand about liberals. 
I don't, I don't understand what they're doing. You know? And, and, and how, how is that actually going to affect anybody? It's not going to affect me. I don't give a shit. Maybe it's, it's, maybe it's, it's actually better for the economy. Amazon buys Whole Foods and then, you know, Amazon is a bigger company than Whole Foods. Maybe they will, they will build more Whole Foods in the whole country. And there's more jobs. There's more fucking jobs. So I don't understand what the problem is. So somehow these liberals have something against corporations. And uh, that's very bad, actually. You know what? Look at all these companies. Why do you think, why do you think all these companies, why do you think all these companies, big companies, actually moved from this country to other countries? Not, not to, uh, not, 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 not to, uh, 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 they, they, they flee mostly not because of regulations. Maybe, maybe, maybe partly because of regulations. But it's also the taxes. Look at Ireland. Look at all these business-friendly countries, and even cities, and even you know uh, um, these these uh, these countries. Yeah, these countries, and and uh, they have such a incentive for these businesses. You know, they have such a good incentive, especially you know why? It's the taxes. It's the fucking taxes that kills the corporations in this country. In this country, because. Nobody would want to be here if they have to pay like 30 something fucking percent in taxes as opposed to like maybe 10 percent or 15 percent in Ireland or uh, I don't know Singapore or any other any any, any, any of these other countries. And that's exactly why these liberals, these fucking liberals, they would never understand this. You're lowering the, the, the you're lowering the taxes on the corporation because you are attracting businesses into your country. More business in your country means more jobs. Isn't that like fucking one on one? I don't understand. Isn't that fucking one on one? Anyways, uh, fuck it. I don't care. I don't give a shit. But I just wanted to you know get that out there, and uh, that's just fucking bullshit. Man. That's, fuck, that's fucking bullshit. You want to bring more jobs? I, mean, I don't agree with Trump when he says that we, we need to bring coal jobs. Coal is old school, man. We should give jobs to people or train them, who actually used to be coal miners, train them into alternate uh, sources of energy. I mean, uh, solar is going to be, big, to be huge. Uh, wind is going to be big. And uh, these alternate sources of energy, uh, gas, yeah, gas is much, much, uh, natural gas is much, much uh, cleaner than coal, you know, or oil. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really agree with, uh, with these liberals. Uh, and uh, I don't know much about Trump's uh, tax plan, but I think he actually gave, gave a break to, uh, he actually gave a break to uh, uh, ordinary uh, citizen of this country. And he said that, I think he said was, or his, his uh, uh, Federal Reserve people, whoever, the, uh, uh, whoever worked for uh, Trump, they said that people who are earning, who will be earning under a certain uh, number, under a certain figure, such as, I think they said it was $24,000 or thirty. Thousand dollars a year, they would be paying no taxes, and they also were giving a a, a larger deduction for everybody in their in their in their simple tax plan. And, and look at it, all these other countries; they have simple, such simpler tax plans. <coughs> Excuse me, a tax code. And our tax code is so fucking complicated. It's so fucking complicated, and and. Uh, and uh, that, that's why that's why I think the liberals and the people on the on the left they will not, they will, this is why this is exactly why Democrats have been losing Congress the the, the, the House and, 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 and the White House and and this is exactly going to be actually uh, a uh, you know a a a, 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 a a, a, a deciding factor, a deciding factor. I mean, it, it can't, because they, 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 they want 
You know, they need jobs. And they want jobs. Because they, you know, they, 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 are, they, are, they, they think that the government regulations and all this and all that, you know, that's going to, uh, that's going to make everything good. And they want to distribute money. Like Bernie wants to distribute money from rich people to poor people. Why, 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 why would rich people, rich people have to have to give money to people who are uh, uh, who uh, who may be poor, but but they don't want to work? Why? Why? Same thing that I say with uh, Governor Cuomo. Apparently, he he is making um, I think college uh, tuition free for people who would be earning uh, under hundred hundred seven hundred hundred ten thousand dollars a year. But who, who earns who earns more than that in this in this city? Nobody does. So that means that every person, every student would have tuition free. And who's gonna pay for that? Who's gonna pay for that? The taxpayer. The taxpayer. So my money, my tax money is going to go to to to, to funding people are these kids in these families who cannot earn more than hundred ten thousand dollars Hundred ten thousand dollars a year. That's a lot of money. Nobody can earn. I, I can earn that much money. I don't think so. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. But in any case, listen, I don't give a shit. I mean I do give a shit because again, you know, that's my tax dollars. Why my tax dollars are going into into to funding other uh, other people who want a free ride. I'm not saying that everyone, every, everybody wants a free ride, but I'm just saying that's uh, I don't think that's a good policy. I don't think so. Alright, so moving on. Uh, moving on to the next. Uh, what do I want to talk about next? Oh, yeah. Uh, if you guys know, you know, what happened back in the 60s and 70s was... Uh, you know, there was a weird fucking Vietnam War was going on, there were protests, and then there was, uh, you know, there was uh, unrest and all that, because uh, African Americans and people of color were sick and tired of, uh, you know, being discriminated and all that, and then uh, Martin Luther King, uh, you know, he was leading the, uh, leading all the marches, and uh, so the 60s and 70s was a, a very a revolutionary period, you know. And uh, revolution period for many people, uh, including women. And uh, finally, the you know women were admitted to uh, some of the, some of these colleges within, uh, let's say Howard or MIT or these big fucking uh, big schools and you know colleges, universities. Uh, at the at the same time, I think what was happening was that uh, people are taking uh, psychedelics and uh, psychedelics somehow opened the minds. And all these, uh, all these uh, Western uh, reductionist kind of guys, and also women at the same time, up to an extent, um, they actually somehow embraced the Eastern philosophy of things, Eastern philosophy of things, because they were attracted to this philosophy of, you know, uh, not being aggressive, not uh, act like uh, colonizing country and you know you take a lot of deep breaths and do yoga, yoga and this and all that and many uh, actually many guys who actually uh, they, they actually uh, uh, left uh, you know their degrees and uh, you know they, uh, they uh, dropped out they, you know they dropped out from Harvard and MIT and all these and these guys and then became the sadhus and what are the what are the what are the what are the we call them uh, and they began the, uh, you know, the promoters of the Eastern philosophy. They went to India or Nepal or wherever. They spent like years and years in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, the holy places, the Hindu holy places, the Eastern holy places, Buddhist, whatever it is. And then they, they you know, they came back and they brought this, uh, this new idea of the Eastern philosophy, uh, of uh, you know, uh, uh, constraint, self-constraint. And uh, uh, and uh, non-alcoholic, uh, a lot of tea and all that, you know. 
uh, which is all good. And it's still happening in the Western world. Uh, the Eastern, 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 uh, Eastern uh, philosophy has a positive impact on the Western world. Uh, but there's one thing that's fundamentally wrong with the uh, with Eastern philosophy. Uh, I'm not saying acting as a, a, a you know as a voice or a microphone for a Western white male reductionist mind, but I'm just saying that there was there was a flaw to that, and I would mention I would mention by the way I mentioned uh, Gandhi. Uh, he was a great guy. He was a great guy, and I think he led a lot of uh, great uh, rallies and all that against uh, tyranny and equality for everybody and all that. But you know, he had a flaw, actually. He had two flaws, I think, in his, uh, in his philosophy. And uh, I don't think Gandhi was a messiah. Uh, Buddha, maybe he was. Uh, but Buddha was, uh, you know, he was a guy, I think, who, uh, uh, who, uh, who was born into, uh, into a rich family. And then uh, he saw around what was around him, what, what, what the fuck was happening, and then he he probably said, you know what, fuck it, I'm just going to walk away from everything. You know, and then he walked away, and then uh, he didn't die, but he then became a uh, messiah. He was a messiah, I think, Buddha. Uh, but, uh, but Gandhi's uh, philosophy was uh, flawed, you know, it was flawed. For example, this was when the British were all uh, were, were, were already in India, you know, they colonized India and uh, South Asia and all that. Uh, but So he was against the uh, British Empire and uh, his, uh, his idea and his ideology was that all these uh, hospitals and schools and whatnot that the British had built were for elites. That, that was his idea. So he was against, he was against all these uh, hospitals and uh, good schools and all that. Although he himself actually was born into a rich family. Uh, so, so, he, so basically he, he was, uh, he, was a, uh, he, he totally denounced, he totally denounced the philosophy uh, or the Western, uh, uh, you know, uh, amenities and, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the you know the Western institutions as uh, uh, as uh, as uh, these institutions for only rich uh, the elites uh, who could afford them and uh, they won't uh, they won't serve the, the poor and the masses and all that which I, I agree with him on that one uh, I agree with him on that one uh, you know hospitals should be uh, uh, should treat everyone equally regardless of their uh, Wealth, or status, or uh, color, or uh, religion, or but 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 he had a flaw in there. Uh, he had a flaw, big flaw, uh, because uh, what happened was that uh, one time he got ill. He got really ill. And I, I think he needed an operation. I, I don't know the uh, exact detail, but I think he had uh, he had a sickness, and uh, so. Uh, now what do you think he would do? Because he has uh, he has denounced all these hospitals, uh, which were built by the British and the uh, British doctors, and also some of the Indian doctors who were trained uh, with the British, uh, who are uh, you know treating people there, uh, people who could afford. Yes, I can imagine back in the days. I mean, you know, if I were a fucking, uh, you know, uh, if I were a fucking. Uh, some guy uh, you know, living on the street, you know. If I get sick, no, they, they won't. They won't take. They won't take me. They won't take me even if I am uh, sick and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and on the street. In this day and age, in, in a country like United States or a, a city like city like uh, New York, no, they won't. So, so the point I'm trying to make is that so he got sick. He got sick, and so now. If you are Gandhi and you have denounced all these Western institu institutions, what would you do? What do you think he did? What do you think he did after, you know, he was like, oh, fuck, man. Uh, oh, by the way, I think he was, he was very sick, and uh, if, uh, if you don't get the treatment, he was going to die. I think that was, uh, 
that that was the verdict somehow. And uh, and so, what do you think he did? What do you think he did? Uh, he was hospitalized in one of those elite uh, British hospitals at that time in India. <laughs> you know, that's uh, that's Gandhi. I mean, uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, if you ask Gandhi, well. He's in the hospital. In the hospital, he's treated, and now he's getting well. Uh, okay, so Mr. Gandhi, you think that uh, you think that uh, these hospitals should uh, not treat anybody if these hospitals cannot treat everybody? And I think the point I'm trying to make, and I actually actually read this book by uh, Sir Aga Khan III. Actually, he mentioned that in his book. And uh, and he actually uh, went to see him because I think they were real friends. And uh, uh, by the way, Sarah Khan III was the first, uh, I think, uh, president of the League of Nations before the United Nations, I think. Uh, because World War II was a real fucking, you know, disaster in the whole fucking world, you know, with Germany and uh, wanting to take over the whole fucking, you know, Hitler wanted to take over the fucking whole war, world, and then you know, Western allies were, uh, that we're trying to stop him. But anyway, anyway, so he went there and then asked him, uh, hey, so what do you think now? What's, has your philosophy changed? Uh, has your philosophy changed about these hospitals? And now that you got yourself treated? Uh, I mean, you were on the side of the, uh, the poor people and uh, you had denounced the, uh, you know, the elite institutions. And, uh, and I think that actually made... Uh, Gandhi think a lot in lately in his in his life. I, I think. I mean that I mean that's that's one that's one flight. The other flight I think he had was uh, you know, he slept with his granddaughters by the way, just to see if if he could get sexual ar ar arousal. Because that's fucked up, man. Why would you why would you want to do that? Why would you want to sleep with your granddaughters just to see if you can get a hard on or not? Or, or if you can actually uh, if you can actually uh, get away with uh, not like touching them or something like that the whole night. That's fucked up. Man. That, but sex is the birthright. And this is the other thing that I don't agree with. When people talk about the Eastern philosophy now, that sex is your birthright. Okay? As long as you are 18 and above and you are not raping anyone or, or you're not doing anything bad, sex is your birthright. Okay? You cannot, you cannot suppress sex because this is what Gandhi was doing. He was suppressing sex by by trying to sleep with his granddaughters. That's fucked up, man. I mean, that's fucked up. I mean, if if you want to denounce the whole fucking world, then then, then just walk away. Just walk away from everything. Just like just like what Buddha did. If you can't walk away, if you don't want to walk away, you want you want to make a political statement. Sex is the birthright. Sex. Is something you cannot do. Sex is like food. How can you involve sex with your ideology? So I don't understand. So that was, I think that was another fly here. Here, uh, that was another fly here. Uh, and when I said that uh, Eastern philosophy has always suppressed sex, and that's true. It's, to this day, it does. I don't know if you ever watched the Japanese porn. You know what they do in Japanese porn? They uh, censor genitals, genitalia. What the fuck, man? That's fucking porn. That's fucking porn. It's not like, what the fuck? And that's how oppressive, sexually speaking, that's how oppressive Eastern societies are, I think. I think. Uh, but yoga and all that is good, but don't use yoga to suppress your sexuality, man, or woman, for that matter. Don't use, don't use yoga as a uh, as a layer to put a layer on top of your sexual desires and deny them. Yeah. Uh, if you want to use that for for uh, for exercise and all that, that's 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 good. Actually, you know, maybe you should try sexual yoga. Sexual yoga is really good. It's actually good for you. It's ex exercise as always well as fun, and it's love. And you know, it's it's it's, it's, it's love. So in any case, so moving on, right? That's what. That's all I wanted to say about the uh, the uh, Eastern philosophy of things. And I think I think I, I, uh, I talked a lot about. It. 
Uh, what else going on? Uh, well, yeah, things are very, uh, things are getting very busy. I told you in my uh, work life, uh, which is a good thing. It's good to be fucking busy, man. Although uh, I need to take a break. I haven't taken a break. Uh, I haven't taken a vacation this year. Uh, but I'm saving the vacation until August. I think that's what I want to do. I, I don't want to fucking like, you know, uh, go out of town. Although I do want to go out of town. Uh, but I do want to, to, to have one vacation for a week, someplace nice, you know, maybe, maybe have a work vacation. Uh, so maybe somewhere in, uh, in Colorado. Uh, I think I mentioned this that I actually bought the tickets for uh, for uh, Colorado in uh, in August, but I think I have to change the dates. I have to change the fucking dates. Uh, what else? Uh, you know, it's the beginning of the summer. Or uh, officially, is this is this fucking officially summer yet? I don't fucking care. I mean, for me, summer is when it gets really hot. And it doesn't matter whether it's fucking June or May or, I don't know, December. Oh, well, by the way, I think I said this, and I say this all the time, I say this all the time on my Twitter account, that we have to actually uh, push forward one month because November is the new October means, I don't know, I mean, the weather is fucking changing. You have, you have to believe me when I say that. The weather is changing. And I'm feeling it because, uh, like, November nowadays used to be what October was like. Same thing with October. Same thing with fucking January. January looks more like fucking, uh, or, or, or feels more like, not looks, because you can't see the fucking weather. Although you can't see the fucking weather sometimes. I mean, if it's a hurricane and it, you know, there's rain and all that, you can see that. But if you feel it, the temperature rise and all that, I don't know. I, I don't know. If people are going to be looking at the statistics and they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna remember me that I was fucking right. Okay, you know, we had to push one month at once into the future, which means that we should actually uh, have December as November, January as December. February is January. Because remember late in the game, in especially in winters, it gets colder towards when it's supposed to be getting warmer. So what the fuck, man? I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, you think that we change time in March, you know, Eastern Daylight Saving, whatever the fuck it is. You think that with Eastern Daylight Time, it would, uh, it would, it would, it would uh, be warmer? Or at, at least it would feel warmer, you know, it would feel fucking warmer but it doesn't it doesn't it fucking doesn't um because again you know it's a change of weather weather is changing it's like I'm telling you weather is fucking changing weather is fucking changing man so you have to adjust your fucking routine your fucking day your week your month your vacation your fucking work your whatever the fuck it is your sex and uh, you were, uh, I don't know, tours, you were, like, you were, whatever the fuck you do, right? So that's, that's what I want to say about the weather. Um, what else is going on? Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, I listen to NPR and, uh, and then I feel like, oh, uh, I feel like bloated. When I hear about all these fucking news, then I, then I feel bloated. You know what I do? I switch to YouTube and then I'll just fucking listen to uh, maybe stand up, uh, Bill Maher stand up, or one of those, Louis C.K. or Bill Maher, and I'll just listen to that. And then I feel better. Or, or, or I would listen to uh, Neil, Grass, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's a fucking great uh, physicist, astrophysicist. And, and, you know, that actually makes me feel better instead of uh, listening to what the fuck's happening in Washington and around the fucking world, you know, with the politics and all that. And I think you guys should, uh, you should stay away from that either. Because uh, it's just, uh, it's just a fucking waste of time, to be honest with you. Uh, what else? Uh, like I said, my business is picking up now, work is picking up, which is a good thing. And, uh, you know, I want to uh, be successful this year, man. I want to... Uh, 
Last year this time was really good. Uh, so I want to soon. I want to actually uh, be back to where I was last year. You know, around this time. And hopefully, hopefully that happens. Uh, you know, hopefully that happens uh, soon. And, and that's and that's that's what I'm trying to. Uh, that's what I'm trying to. Uh, uh, that's what I'm trying to uh, do. You know, this year. I mean, business has to grow. You know, it has to grow because. Uh, uh, what's the point of living in a in a city like New York, where uh, where you uh, where you know you're working or you're uh, uh, you know, you're owning a business? I mean, that's the whole point. That's the whole point. And and and, and that when I say that's the whole point means the point. That's the whole point in the sense that uh, uh, in New York, if you, if you're successful, well, first of all, you better be successful uh, in whatever you're doing. Uh, although some of the careers are, are very tough to be successful in, for example, uh, art and music and uh, and uh, drama and all that. But I think uh, that's that's a that's a very tough career to have, or a creative writing and all that. There are no there are no jobs, there's no money really, unless uh, you become successful overnight and you become the next uh, I don't know uh, next fucking biggest actor or biggest uh, I don't know, singer. But that's very hard, you know. Not everybody can be uh, can be uh, I don't know who, whoever the 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 pop stars are of the contemporary age, you know. I don't know. I mean, I don't follow that bullshit, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't Grammys. What is it that fucking? What the fuck is? I hardly watch uh, Oscars. I don't know. I would rather watch a movie than uh, people bragging about it. But I guess I guess that's their job, you know. That's their career, and you know that's that's fucking. And I, I sometimes I feel bad uh, for uh, for these actors and uh, famous actors and actresses. And I think I think if I were a famous actor, uh, I don't think I would be able to live a normal life because uh, people would come up to me and they would fucking like. Just imagine, what? Just imagine, like, just imagine what kind of a life I would live. A lot of bullshit. A lot of bullshit. And on top of that, uh, uh, you know, I would feel like, oh fuck, man, leave me the fuck alone. You know, leave me the fuck alone, okay? Leave me the fuck alone. I am not in the movie. You are not in the fucking theater. This is a grocery store down on 14th Street, so leave me the fuck alone, you fucking... I mean, that's what I would feel like. That's what I would do. I would be fucking angry all the time. If people come up come up to me and ask me, you know, Oh, well, Mr. Uh, whatever the fuck your name is. Oh, I saw your movie the other day, and, uh, you know, that's a fucking great movie. You're like, that was just acting. That's not who I am. You got that, you f fucking moron? Now leave the fuck alone and let me do... Let me do my grasses. You know, you know, you know what I mean. That's, I think that's what, that's what, uh, I think that's what I would do if I were a famous actor. You know, I'm like, leave the fuck alone, you fucking lunatic. Okay? You go to the movies? Okay. Go, go talk to, talk, 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 talk about the movies with your friends, not with me. Okay? I'm not that actor. I have played hundred other actors in hundred other movies. Okay? So just leave the fuck alone, okay? Just leave the fuck alone. Don't come near me. You know? And I think that I think that's what that's what I would feel. I don't know how these all these uh, all these uh, famous actors and actresses how they live their life. I don't understand. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh. Oh, by the way, I mean, uh, I uh, uh, I almost said. By the way, did I tell you guys that I almost had a date with Tina Fey? Do you know who Tina Tina Fey is? Tina Fey used to run this show called Thirty Rock. Thirty Rock is a uh, Thirty Rock fellow building in uh, New York City. She she used to run her own show called Thirty Rock. I think this was like an offshoot of SNL. I think. But, uh, you know, I don't have time now to discuss that, but uh, maybe some of the time I'll tell you guys the story, and it's kind of funny. It's funny, comical, 
uh, and uh, very interesting, very fucking interesting, kids, I'm telling you right now. But besides telling that to you right now, uh, what else do I want to say? Because, uh, you know, I don't want to go on and on about uh, the pod, this podcast. Uh, it's kind of late too now, it's like fucking 10 o'clock. Uh, it's actually 10.40, there it is. 10.40, oh yeah, shit, 10.40. So uh, I had to blow this up in like a few minutes. And uh, uh, yeah, so send me your feedback. Uh, I'll, I'll put up my email, uh, I'll put up my email uh, address as well at some point in one of, uh, one of the podcasts. And I also want to bring in a, in a guest. Uh, I, I also want to bring in a guest, uh, maybe, maybe not the third uh, podcast, maybe the fourth one. All right. And uh, that's it. I think that's it. Uh, that's it for 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 my second podcast, uh, second video podcast, and uh, this will be up on YouTube uh, either today or maybe tomorrow. Okay. So uh, send me your reviews. Send me your reviews and uh, enjoy the uh, rest of the fucking Monday night. What the fuck you doing? Uh, what they're sleeping. Uh, you know, sleep like a baby, or whether you're out drinking uh, with your friends, uh, just don't make the scenes in the fucking bars, kids, okay? And uh, enjoy, enjoy your night, and stay uh, stay dry, stay dry. I think this fucking whole fucking week is like fucking, uh, uh, you know, it's all fucking rain and all that bullshit. Alright, I have to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to pass the fuck out anytime soon. So that the later, and I'll see you guys, well, you guys will see me next Sunday, I believe. Alright, ciao.